Hello everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on equation of a straight line from a graph. So these are the questions where they give you a line already drawn on a grid and they're asking you to find the equation of that line. Now this question gives me a little hint here. The equation of any straight line can be written in this form, y equals mx plus c. We just need to find out what the values of m and c are for this line. So you should know that m represents the gradient of the line. It's how steep it is. And c is where it intersects on the y-axis. So the c is actually easiest to find first. I'm looking at where does this line cross the y-axis. Well, it crosses it just here. And this is at 1 on the y-axis. So my value of c in this case is 1. Now I need to find the gradient. So the way I do this is I need to find first two points on this line that cross the grid perfectly. So I'm looking at points, for example, like this one here. I can't use points like this because I don't know what their exact coordinate is. I'd just be estimating. So I need to use ones that have an exact coordinate like this one. So I'm just going to draw these on so you can see all the options I have. So here are all my options. I just need to pick any two of these and join them together to make a right angle triangle. So I'm going to do this here. I'm going to start with this point and go across two squares and then go up four squares there. There was many different ways I could have done that, but I picked those two. So looking at what these squares represent, this green line here goes from 0 to 2, so it is 2 across. And my blue line goes from 1 to 5, so it is 4 high. So to calculate the gradient of this line, I need to do the height of this triangle, which is 4, divided by the width of the triangle, which is 2. Some teachers might call this the rise divided by the run. Whatever helps you remember it, we do the height divided by the width. So the value of m, my gradient, is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now I've got the two important things I need to know. I've got my gradient and I've got my y-intercept. So I can now form the equation of my line. It's y equals m is 2 x and c is plus 1. So that is the equation of this straight line. Let's look at one more example. So the first thing I can do is I can easily spot what my value of c is. That's where the line crosses the y-axis and this time it crosses it at 5. So I'm going to write down that my value of c is 5. Now I need to calculate the gradient. Again, I need to pick any two points where the line crosses the grid perfectly so I know what their exact coordinates are. Here are all my options. So I'm going to pick any two of these and join them together to make a right angle triangle. So this time I'm going to go for this here, down there and across here. It doesn't matter which two you pick, you'd get the same answer. So I'm just going to double check my blue line here going down goes from 1 to 3, so it is 2 high. And the green line at the bottom goes from 1 to 2, so it is 1 across. So my gradient is found by doing 2 divided by 1, which is just 2. But if you notice here, this line is actually declining, it's going downwards. So the gradient has to be negative. So my gradient is not 2, it's actually minus 2. So you can either do the calculation, then just put the minus in front of it, as I've done here. Or you can see that this 2 here, this blue line, is actually going down 2. So you could have represented this 2 here as a minus 2, and done minus 2 divided by 1. Just need to be careful of that step there. 
So now I can form the equation of my line. I've got y equals, my gradient is minus 2x and my y-intercept is 5, so plus 5. Here's a question for you to try. This one is slightly trickier, but give it a go and pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's the solution. So the value of C was easy enough to find, that is just seven, but there were lots of little things that could have confused you and tripped you up with this question. The first one is that there's only three places where the line crosses the grid perfectly. So you didn't have as many options in drawing your triangle out. I went for these two here. The next thing that could have tripped you up is that this here is five, but many of you might have thought that this part here was four. It is four squares wide, but what's important is what the numbers are on the axes. So this is actually only two because the x-axis goes up in larger jumps than the y-axis does. So it's actually five and two. If you went for the bigger one here, it would have been 10 and four, not eight along the bottom. So my gradient is five divided by two. So I get a decimal gradient. And not only that, but we have to remember that the line is sloping downwards, so it's a negative gradient as well. So the final answer to this question is y equals minus 2.5x plus 7. So this is a trickier example. Thank you for watching.